especially when we uh, started coming up, there didn't seem to be this entrepreneurial spirit in the producer community. It was more just, I make beats, I have to find someone else that's going to buy them, which is a record label or a major artist. And now you're seeing more than ever to, sp to speak to your point, well-known producers who have zero placements, who have zero Grammy, people like Simon Servita, right? Um, oh, and I had that conversation. Yeah, and I had a conversation with him about placements and he said, you know what? I might decide that I want to pursue placements. So he made that choice. That wasn't really a choice for producers 20 years ago. It was either placements or, or nothing really. I mean, not to everybody, but that was really the, that was really the path that, that I'd say virtually every producer chose. Um, and, you know, people like, like Simon, their, their brands are strong because of this entrepreneurial spirit. And you have both, you have the, the industry credibility and the entrepreneurship. What cultivated both of those for you? I mean, especially when you really have a strong foothold in, in both worlds. I appreciate that. Um, for me, it was curiosity, dude. Curiosity. I, I think curiosity from day one for me is and was and still is the driving force to why I do certain things. And early on in my career and just being a child and just growing up in music, I developed this something implanted in my brain and I developed this like real desire to be around other creative people. And so that's sort of the, the, the fuel under all of this other entrepreneurial stuff that I do. You know, if you, if you really, you know, take a look at the stuff that I've been able to do, 100% of those things uh, involve creating a product or service that's for or in service of creative people, specifically mostly music producers, whether it's my podcast talking about music production or drum kits or the, you know, lap session, past the aux tours or my app or the course I'm dropping or all this stuff. It's, it's all very much in service of the people that I want to be around. And that, that's sort of the evolution of where, you know, where my head was at in the beginning was how can I just, you know, make music because I love making music, be a music producer, but then also how can I create these uh, moments or these campaigns where I can, I get to be around other creative people. And so that was kind of where it started. And that's still kind of my fuel right now is being of service to creative people and the people that are paying attention to what I'm doing. And that's forever going to be sort of like my mantra for everything that I do.